In this video, I'll show you how to convert your photos into a form that makes them easier to draw or trace. Many artists use this method to get a head start with subjects that are difficult or complicated. You might not use this process all the time, but it's a great tool to have when you need it. Hi, I'm Jim Crandall. I've been an illustrator and an artist for all of my adult life, and I'm here to share a few things that I picked up along the way. I think that most representational painters find themselves working from reference photos at least some of the time, but even a good high quality photo can be a challenge to use, often because there's color and detail that isn't needed when you're first laying out a painting. But there are ways to simplify a photo whether you're going to freehand it, trace it, or project an image onto your painting surface. Digital imaging software makes this relatively easy. I'll use Adobe Photoshop in my first example, but if you can hang in there for a few minutes, I'll show you a couple of other options that would let you do pretty much the same thing at little or no cost. Let's get started. There are two main steps. First, because the values of a picture, that is the pattern of light and dark shapes, are the most important elements, we want to discard the color information. Most software will call this adjustment black and white or desaturation. Secondly, we want the computer's help in identifying a very limited range of values. Some landscape painters might use just two levels, but most of the time, three levels works very well. I use a version of Photoshop that's pretty ancient now, CS3, but it does everything I need. Here's my original photo. Photoshop has adjustment layers, which sit on top of the original image and modify it. I could choose this first layer to be either black or white or saturation. Either would work, but for our purposes, I'll choose saturation. Once the little window opens, I'll move the saturation slider all the way to the left, and the image becomes black and white. For my second adjustment layer, I'll choose Posterize, and this time I'll make it three eight levels. There it is, that's what I need. I could stop here and save or print this version, but there are a couple more options for me in Photoshop. Photoshop lets me add other adjustment layers and insert them where I like in the stack. So I will make another level that will let me adjust how the value shapes in my posterization break up. I could use either levels or curves. This time I'll use levels. Moving the slider buttons on the histogram affects in real time the proportions of white, gray, and black areas. I look for shapes that will capture the essence of the subject and also those that will be the most help when I go to paint. But there's one more trick that will simplify the image even a little more. I'll duplicate my original image as a new layer Then pull down Filter and select Noise. In the submenu, I'll choose Median and enter a small number here. And watch as my posterized image on the top layer gets a bit more smooth. 
I think that's good to transfer to my work surface. I'm happy with that. Now let's quickly look at a couple of other apps that can do about the same thing. Notanizer is one of the best apps for smartphones and tablets. It can also do posterization and it does it without much fuss. It opens whichever saved photograph you choose and you immediately have the options of Notan, which is just a hipster term for two values, black and white, color, three levels, four levels, or more. Sliders at the bottom allow you to set the breakpoints of the value areas to your preference. When you're happy, you can save the converted image or send it to a printer. Another option for the desktop is the free-to-download GIMP application, which works on all platforms. Its interface is a bit intimidating, but all the functions you really need are in there. In this case, every added layer has its own adjustments, and you can work through the steps in sequence. With a little trial and error, you should arrive where you need to be. There are actually several apps and software programs that can perform this same posterized function, and you may already have one or more of them. Check the video description for a list of the ones that I've found. If this video was helpful to you, I hope that you'll take a moment to give it a like, and also consider subscribing to my channel for more tips about drawing and painting. Please leave any questions or comments that you might have, and I'll do my best to answer them. Bye for now.